Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bastiana Joyce. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. <laughs> so much for clicking on this video and joining me today so i've already actually tried to record this video but i hated the way i looked so i had to refilm it lord jesus give me strength i'm bringing to you a what's in my birthday wish list um i thought this video would be kind of interesting just to see you guys like what kind of things i am looking to buy in the future what's on my wish list what am i waiting to be gifted on and hopefully it can obviously give you guys ideas as well on you know your gifts what you're wanting to buy for someone for yourself or like you know what you want on your own wish list as well so every item that i mentioned will be linked down below so you guys can obviously check them out if you want to and just giving you all some ideas and giving you some insight into like the kind of vibes that I'm going for for my birthday for like this new chapter of my life and you know yeah <laughs> so before we get into the video make sure to comment like and subscribe follow me on socials at Sebastiana Joyce on Instagram and TikTok yeah let's get into the video I guess just a quick disclaimer I'm entering a new era of Sebastiana Joyce and I feel like I'm kind of like wanting different for myself I feel like I with being obviously a woman of God and like elevating myself and like just trying to be my highest self because I'm like real big on like personal development and like just elevate myself I feel like you know to be my highest self like obviously that looks different for everyone like you know your higher self would look completely different to my higher self but I just know like with my higher self like the highest version of Sebastiana Joyce like she is that girl she looks the part she dresses the part she is the part I know that I'm working on myself like emotionally spiritually to like be the best version of myself and I feel like that has to represent itself out like I want everyone to look at me and see wow woman of God wow ambassador of Christ wow what an elegance wow what a I'm just trying to like kind of elevate my aesthetics I'm trying to move towards like more elegance and like I've always been like quite simplistic like I'm a simple babe I love simplicity and like I always found that really like you know attractive and like just very elegant and I feel like I'm really trying to tap more into that but I'm trying to elevate it do you know what I mean so um I've really like began doing some things that I feel like are you know contributing or will contribute to like you know the highest version of myself and it's not to say that this highest version of myself is like an end goal or it's like um it's not like an end point there's no end point to like my higher self I feel like she's always going to continue to develop and I'm always going to be like you know ever changing and like you know just gonna grow to like like different things want to do different things one of the things that I am trying to like really enhance or elevate on is like my wigs so <laughs> I'm trying to like invest in like quality wigs so I don't know if you guys can tell but this is like raw Indian hair that I recently bought and this is like my go-to wig now this is the only wig I essentially have like good quality wig that I have and I'm wanting to build like a collection of like good quality wigs because I don't want to be that babe like that's constantly buying from AliExpress even in regards to like my makeup like I feel like I've always been I've never been like a full like coverage full on type of girl but I've actually like toned it down especially in regards to like my lashes I haven't been wearing lashes for a long long time I've been on like a super like natural type of like vibe today I didn't even wear like I didn't even wear foundation for this look like I've just been on a very like kind of minimal type of vibe in regards to like my makeup and my nails also so I've been on my bio journey I've been on my bio journey for a minute now like I stopped wearing acrylics for a long time and I'm just really really over that look like I'm really over like acrylics like I feel like it looks it just doesn't look as like clean um I mean that's the clean girl aesthetic that's what I'm into it just doesn't give me the aesthetics that I'm after like don't get me wrong like acrylics can look bad like they can look real good like especially like with some of the designs the babies are coming out with lately like it looks gorgeous and sometimes I'm like oh my god I wish I had acrylics to like do this and that design but I'm just really really loving like my natural nails and like the short classy type of looks like I just feel like it just gives more of me I just feel like it's more me and I'm someone who's like real real simple especially with my nails I typically only go for like nudes French like this is all I do and I'm really really happy with it and I just feel like they look so 
so freaking cute. Not that I needed any kind of like reassurance from anyone, but one thing that really affirmed it to me was when was when I went on a date and then this guy like he held my hand, he looked at my nails and was like, Oh, how come you know your nails look like this? I was like, I'm just not into like acrylics and that anymore and he was like oh i really like it i was like yeah get you and me a girl with classy nails you know like and i feel like i don't want to give off like you know like regular vibes like i don't want to like guys i'm so sorry i hope you guys don't get offended by the things that i say but i think you know everyone has their own taste everyone has you know their preference and it's okay like you can like your acrylics like as i said like i think acrylics look really good um but they just weren't healthy for my nails and the amount of pain that i'd be in because i'd always bang my nails and it always snaps like it was just so painful for like what reason like why am i actually doing this to myself and you know when i discovered biob and i started my biob journey you know it's just a whole new world to me me and I will never go back. I'm currently on a smile journey so I'm getting aligners with smile direct so I'm just waiting for them to get delivered. I had one tooth taken out because of severe cavity. The other one got fixed. I've got a whitening kit with my aligners that I'll be doing and I also want some caps. Oh, it's like to be with caps yeah i'm really investing in like myself and later on this year like i'm gonna invest in laser as well so i'm just doing things that are like gonna make me feel like you know that girl like because i love taking care of myself i love feeling like my best self i feel like when you look good you feel good do you know what i mean yeah and i feel like i really want to start prioritizing how i look and how i come across and how i present myself do you know what i mean so i'm really you know trying to reinvent myself i feel like i'm trying to reinvent myself every other day but like for real for real like i'm really on like this journey and i feel like god is really calling me to be someone that i don't even think i'm ready for but like i want to be ready do you know what i mean i want to show up do you know what i mean um like i said internally and externally so that's the kind of vibes that i'm on so that's just an fyi with all the things that i list here it's all trying to like you know it's, it's part of the whole type of thing. So basically I've broken down my wish list into like several different compartments. So I've got my skincare and makeup, clothing, and then I've got shoes, jewelry, perfume, and then after perfume I've got electronics. So onto the skincare and makeup. So basically with my current like skincare situation, like I feel like my skin has kind of not been looking its best recently. Um, and I feel like I really need to get on top of that but I don't I feel I feel quite overwhelmed actually with like the amount of products that's currently out there for like skincare I feel like you know like this whole consumerism capitalism kind of society just wants us to buy 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 like any reason to buy like they're you know trying to shove it in your faces and I just feel like it's very overwhelming like there's always something new like now it's like retinoids and whatever noids like it's just so much that like we have to keep up with and quite frankly I'm tired of it like I'm really exhausted exhausted but like i just need a good few products that are like gonna sustain me and like gonna help my skin because i feel like the, our body knows what it's doing like god created us like this for a reason like he knows what he was doing like he knows what our skin was designed to do and i feel like when we interfere too much with that it can obviously overwhelm our skin as well and like just cause breakouts and like you know all types of things but i feel like um i don't actually like have a good awareness of like what products work for my skin i feel like i don't really know my skin that well um and like what products work well on it so i feel like i really need to get on top of that but i feel like my main concern at the moment is like reducing the texture on my skin I feel like I'm getting a little bit too much on the textures like I'm wanting like more of a smooth I want my face to look like a baby's bottom type of vibe so so yeah so some of the items that I have in my skincare so I seen this um brand called Dermalogica being talked about a lot especially through obviously some of my favorite influencers like Oni Bells um some other people as well have mentioned it and they've only like I've only heard good things about this brand Oni Bells um she said the one thing that she would like she liked all their products but one thing that she would like you you know encourage us to buy would be the daily microfoliant she said that helped her with her texture and like i said i'm really trying to work on like the texture of my skin and like just smoothing things out so i feel like i could do with that and i feel like although it's expensive i think it's good to like invest in these things because it's things that you know that you know will stick beside you and like do the job and like things that you don't have to second guess so i'm really on a hunt for like you know um 
I'm really on the hunt for those pieces that like are die hard and like pieces that you know I don't have to like bat an eyelid for because I know they're good for me do you know what I mean so I'm really looking for those kind of items in my skincare kind of routine so I've got the Dermalogica products in there so the daily microfoliant the special cleansing gel and the oil to foam total cleanser so I've got those in there to try them out see how it goes I also saw Melissa's wardrobe talk about Ren's clean skincare glow and protect serum and she said that really helped with her texture as well so I've also got that on the wish list I don't currently have a serum in my skincare so I think I could do with that also on to makeup now so I haven't really been like really into like new makeup like I haven't really like been dying to like buy new makeup and stuff like that so I haven't been gagging for anything but there's just a few things that I've like seen here and there that I thought you know I could try this I could put it in my wish list why not the first thing is the Givenchy matte foundation and I saw this on TikTok like a babe on TikTok was doing her makeup and when she put on that foundation baby but yeah when i saw that foundation it looked luscious like it looked so amazing like the shade match the consistency like i'm someone who like like i said like i'm not really into like the full coverage type of vibe like i've even like not worn any foundation today i'm quite into like the buildable sheer coverage type of vibe and i feel like that's what it was giving and the shade match was just incredible to me and i think because she was also stunning like it just made everything make sense you know what i mean so like when i saw that i was like i definitely need to try that like if there's any foundation i'm gonna try it's the Givenchy. next thing on my list is the huda beauty easy bake kanafa or banana bread um so i currently use the kanafa and that's currently running out like very soon it's gonna go on me and i'm like not excited for that so i need to re-up asap and i put the banana bread on there just to just to try out um using like a brighter um powder for like my under eye i feel like my under eye is already bright as it is but i feel like the banana bread might just give it a little bit of Oof, do you know what I mean so I put that on the list just to try next item that I've got on here is a liquid blush so there's just this whole craze of liquid blushes especially with made by Mitchell and his blushes like it's just a whole thing like everyone's dying for like liquid blushes and it's like a craze right now and I currently don't have any liquid blushes and it's like why do I not have any liquid blushes I did have one from NARS that I took on holiday but it just kept spilling like the packaging was like real awkward and like it just wouldn't close and I just ended up throwing it away because I'm not having it leak all over my clothes all over my makeup like I wasn't having it um, but that was the only like liquid blush that I tried and it was okay it wasn't the best so I'm like willing to try a different one so I recently bought one from made by Mitchell I'm waiting for that to get delivered I think I ordered sweet cheeks but I did hear like some bad reviews about it I did well one review like one of my friends told me that it was quite drying so just in case like I want to try a different liquid blush and I got down I put down the P Louise liquid blush in lolly dolly and with P Louise and made by Mitchell boy when I tell you is TikTok TikTok does a crazy job at selling things to you like it will literally just hammer you with the same products time and time again on your for you page you'll see the same thing like there's actually like a load of science that goes into like you know marketing and I feel like it's really true when they say like the more that the more they expose you to something the more you're going to want that thing and I feel like that's what happens a lot on TikTok and I feel like that's why we really need to reduce our time on there because it's just very it can be very like negative and dangerous for like you know our health our mental health our financial health like it's real bad <laughs> and then the next items are the mac lip liner chestnut the nars lip le freak the fenty gloss bomb in glass slipper hot chocolate and sweet mouth and then the kiko milano clear gloss so those are items for like a new lip combo i feel like i've been doing my makeup so like repetitively for like a long time i feel like my makeup steps routine the products like they just don't budge like I feel like I've just been doing the same thing for a long time like I said I've been very underwhelmed of like new products I haven't really been gagging to try anything new but like when it comes to my lips I feel like I really want to like develop a really good lip combo like I like my lip combo at the moment um I currently use like the NYX um butter glosses in creme brulee and madeleine and then just some any brown lip liner today I don't actually have any of those on today I've actually got a Fenty gloss bomb in 
Fenty Glow. I feel like I need to switch it up. I feel like I need a really nice like pinky nude um, lip. And I also need like a, you know, the warm orangey type of nudie lip. Like I feel like I really need that as well. So that's currently on my to-do. So we'll start off with a pinky nudes. And I saw the NARS Le Freak on this dark skin babe on TikTok again. And it looks real good on her. It looks real nice. So I said, you know, this is kind of what I've been looking for. So I put that on the wish list as well. Next items are the Tom Ford Shimmering Body Oil, the Skin Butter by the Skin Butter, and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shimmer Body Oil. So I put those items on there because, like, you know, that glow when you're getting dressed, putting on a cute dress, going out for the night, going out for whatever. You know that glow? I need that. I don't feel like I have, like, a good body care body skincare routine that like makes my skin glow you know that rich kind of you know bronze type of glow like i feel like i need that the skin butter and the anastasia beverly hill shimmering body oil i actually saw from another tiktoker again um but she she looked immaculate as well like body tone glistening like it looked so gorgeous and these are the items that she was using currently on my skincare i use a native spa ginseng and caffeine range in the toning body oil and the toning body lotion and i found that this has actually been really good for my skin so my skin on my legs is like super dry well my whole body is like super dry but on my legs it get like real scaly and like just not cute my mum recommended this brand to me and I was like, no sister, like this is too much. It's like 32, 35 quid for like the two of them. And I just thought that was like excessive, like ICBA. Um, and it was like, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't really trust my mum's recommendation. <laughs> but after using it for like a solid two months or so like I'm really happy with these products and I feel like it has definitely increased my skin texture and my skin hasn't been as dry as it used to be which is obviously great news because I'm a lady like what business do I have walking around with dry legs like they're really good but I don't feel like they give me that glow that I'm after and I also do use the Vaseline and um, Cocoa Radiant um, body oil which is good as well but I feel like this is it doesn't last long like it's quite shiny and oily at first but give her an hour or so like it's no longer there um so I feel like I need some good products to like so onto the clothing, y'all know I love myself um, a bit of fashion. Um, so I've actually got a few pieces on here. So a few of these pieces are from Hanifa, um, Cuckoo, and I've got one from Yagi, but I'm kind of unsure about the Yagi one. Um, so with the Hanifa, I put down the acid, the Asta Acid Jeans, the Catalea Corset Dress, and the Roxy Knit Tube Maxi. If you've ever shopped from Hanifa, you know Hanifa is quality. Like, Hanifa is that girl. Like, if I ever have a fashion brand label, like, it needs to be on the Hanifa level because Hanifa is that girl. The quality of those dresses, of the clothes, top tier I feel like she's very innovative and like she always has like these cool designs and like the fabric that she uses goodness me so I've already bought like two dresses from, from Hanifa which have cost me an arm and a leg and I've always bought them because I wanted to either wear them on holiday or wear them like for my birthday and I just haven't gotten to use them yet but they're there for like special occasions they're there I know they will serve when I wear them um, and I'm actually thinking to do like a Hanifa brand review so you guys can see the quality of Hanifa um, but I really do like the Hanifa brand and I would buy from her time and time again do wish obviously it was a little bit cheaper but you know I would pay those prices I can't even lie like with the quality that you're getting it's worthwhile because you're not going to get that quality from ASOS, PLT, not even Zara do you know what I mean like it's really Hanifa's that girl okay the other clothing I have on here is from Cuckoo and this is a two-piece set y'all already know which two-piece from Cuckoo that I'm on about obviously the trousers and the long sleeve top like Oh, the girls be eating in that set. Oh, I literally gasp every time I see like a hot babe in them and it's like, Jesus, she looks so good. Um, so yeah, I really want that set, but I just don't know what color I want. I feel like I want all of the colors. So yeah, that's currently on my wish list. And then I had the Yagi Yoku two-piece set on there and that was like the skirt and the top, which I thought was really cute, especially the color. Like, I think the color looks so stunning, like that blush pink, like it just looks so gorgeous. And I feel like the set would look really flattering on like, you know, all, all body types. I feel like it's just so body hugging and like it just accentuates a woman's curves. I'm on 
unsure of it because I feel like I'm really trying to like stay away from like the minis, like the mini skirts, the mini shorts. Like I feel like with this new style that I'm trying to like embody, I feel like, you know, I'm just not wanting to like skin out as much as I used to. Like I feel like up until now, or maybe a couple of months ago, like I feel like I would skin out like I feel like I, I'm I'm never even now I'm not ashamed like I'm very like I'm quite comfortable that's the word I feel like I'm quite comfortable in my body and I'm like happy to like share not share <laughs> I'm happy to like you know show a bit of skin like that's never been an issue for me like I'm very like comfortable in my skin and like even from young like my mom my aunties like they will tell you like I was always a babe in like crop tops and like I'd always like tie my tops and like always in a mini shorts and mini skirts like I was that girl from young but I just feel like 27 going on 30 I feel like you know I just feel like my style needs to you know just develop a little bit and I just feel like I need to stay away from the minis a little bit I'm really into the maxis the midaxis like I love a maxi dress like a maxi like just that just like that Hanifa one the Hanifa um Roxy knit tube maxi like just a long tight fitting dress that's like me to a T like cuz oh like I just love that kind of look like I just love like a a nice hugging long dress and it's like oh I just love it so yeah I'm really trying to stay away from the minis like I feel like the trend with like mini skirts lately is a bit too much because I feel like it's getting real mini like I don't ever want to be out on the streets and like I mean I have been on the streets with my bum cheek showing when I went to like juve but like, I just don't want to be doing that anymore. Like, I don't want to be doing that. That's not the women I want to be anymore. For a long time, I haven't really like taken too much notice in regards to like what I wear. Um, but as I'm really trying to like take my faith seriously, I feel like fashion is something that God is really like trying to speak to me in like speak to me about because i feel like like i said for a long time i've just been very like comfortable and free to like just skin out but i feel like as i'm growing older as i'm growing wiser i feel like i just want to like you know just take that back a little bit more um but yeah so i think i'm gonna take that out of my wish list but i did get actually a yagi set recently like the trousers two piece three piece set um and i really like it actually um so yeah on to shoes then. So I've got the Gucci right on sneakers. I thought these were super cute. I don't even know how I came across these, but when I saw them, I was like, these are so freaking cute. Like this is going on the wish list. Like, and I'm someone like, I really love trainers, but like my trainer collection, like my sneaker collection is non-existent. Like I have like one pair of Dunks, one pair of Air Forces, um, my New Balances and my Nike vapor maxes i think that's what it's called and the vapor max and the air max are done out like those are shoes that are like you know they're not like clean shoes do you know what i mean so i feel like i don't have a good sneaker collection i feel like i really need to build on that because i'm a real like cool girl streetwear type of babe as well like i love that kind of aesthetic and i feel like when i'm in my cool girl streetwear vibe like she's also a vibe like she's also that girl do you know what i mean sneakers is something that i definitely need to build up on so that i can just expand my outfits a bit more because i don't have that many sneakers and these gucci ones are so cute i love the color palette the cream and then like the splash of pink like i just love it so much i just think it's so cute um and they look like they could be comfortable and they should be with that price tag <laughs> next on my list is the nike dunks and i put it down in the panda because i just feel like panda is like just that girl i feel like she's very like classic timeless and i feel like she'd go with like anything and like you know everyday where i think i could get a lot of use out of her um so i put that down but there's other obviously palettes that i want as well i want like a red one i saw like another yellow one that i like like i really like the dunks like i love a night dunk and i've only got one pair like what the heck is that i feel like when it comes to spending my money i spend it more on clothes rather than on shoes yeah i need to do better on that and then the other pair of shoes that i have is the uggs scuffet to slipper and i put this down because like yo 
I just need some Ugg slippers. Like, who doesn't want Ugg slippers? Like, Ugg slippers look so, like, comfortable and, like, warm and, like, fluffy. And I feel like on a, like, nice self-care day, like, when I've, like, had a nice warm shower or bath, when I've had, like, an everything shower and, like, I've shaved and, like, I feel like a baby's bottom and, like, I've done, like, a nice skincare routine and, like, I feel like I've washed my hair um, thoroughly. Like, I've lit a candle and I've got on my nice pyjamas and I've got my book out, I've got my Bible out, I've got my journal out and I'm going downstairs to get a drink or I'm going downstairs to make myself a late night snack. I need to be in some Cinderella slippers, okay? I need to be in some Ugg slippers. I feel like Uggs are really the Cinderella's of slippers, like, <laughs> if that even makes sense. Ugg slippers are the Cinderella's of slippers, like, they just, you know, they just give and I need. Okay, so on to the next section this is jewelry so as i've obviously said i don't know how many times like i'm obviously trying to elevate my look and i feel like to do so i also need like fine jewelry pieces that can stay on my body and i don't have to worry about taking it off when i'm jumping in the shower like i want these to be like statement staple pieces that i just have like as like jewelry and like you know it just I feel like jewelry can really like make you feel real elegant and like classy and like just i feel like it can really elevate like someone's look i'm looking to invest into actually like real gold pieces so the pieces that i found on this website are mainly 14 karat gold and i feel like that's like a good medium the prices are not crazy but you know it is expensive but i'm willing to invest in that because i feel like i need I need it, I need it, <laughs> I need it. I just want like fine jewelry pieces, like pieces that just stay on my body. Like I wanna be able to like walk around naked and like see like jewelry glistening from my body. Like that's the kind of vibe I'm going for. Like I need it. The first item I actually saw on Nuri Anna. I don't know if you guys follow her on YouTube or Instagram, but Nuri is exactly the kind of vibes that I'm going for. Like she's such a classy babe. Like and she's real like simplistic with her aesthetic as well. Like even like her interior design and stuff like she just moved and like you know the way she's styling her home it's just so like it's just so gorgeous like nori anyway so i saw the parfait diamond round necklace on her and i think she actually got the one that's slightly bigger and that's like nearly a thousand um but i saw this one which um appeared to be obviously it's cheaper and it appeared to be quite smaller and it's just like a diamond round necklace and i feel like the necklace is like real dainty and light i think it looks real feminine like just real cute and like dainty and i just need that i need that it just looks real cute and then next i've got some earrings in there so i've got some studs i'm trying to get more piercings um i think i've currently got two on my low but i need i want another one i don't need it i want another one on each side so in total i'm gonna have three on my earlobe so i'm thinking to get some studs i put down the diamond mini studs because i feel like that's just something that i need on one of them like at least one of them has to be like a diamond stud and then there's some parve diamond huggy hoops which i think would be perfect for like everyday wear again i need jewelry that i do not have to take off and then the single mini hoops as well and then the single colored mini hoop pearl and i love this one because of like just the pearl feature and again it just gives like that classy simplistic type of look to it and then onto rings i've got the beam open ring stacker set on the list and i feel like this is just quite different from like typical rings i feel like the open feature to it just gives it a little bit more of a of an edge and i think it's cute i've also got on there the team ring which is also quite simple diamond type of um accessorized ring i've also got an anklet on there so i've got a chain anklet on there and this one just looks so perfect it's exactly what i've been looking for so i feel like i've been looking for like a anklet for a very long time and then lastly i've got a few watches on the jewelry section so i've got the um octagon dual tone gold watch from rosefield um and i feel like i put that on there because obviously i really like the cartier i think it's panthera watch which is like a two-tone um like kind of petite watch like it's like a bracelet watch and i just think it looks so gorgeous but obviously the price is so expensive this is one that i thought was like a really good dupe of like the cartier um bracelet watch and um it's got like that kind of rectangular face to it with obviously the two-toned um strap like i just 
I think this looks real feminine, real cute. But I've never heard of this brand before, Rosefield. Um, but I like the watch, so who cares? The other one I have on here is a Scarlet Mini Three Hand Date Two Tone Stainless Steel Watch from Fossil. I don't know if Fossil's a good watch, guys. I'm actually, I don't know like what a good like watch piece is, um, but I do like a watch. Like I love, to be honest, I've only got two watches at the moment in my collection. I've only got this, my Vivian Westwood, which my friends got me and I love it so much. But I feel like I can't wear this all the time because obviously it's got like a green face to it. Um, but I love this watch so much and then I've got like a Casio um, kind of silver watch and that's like real small and like that's like that's what I use for like everyday office wear and I love that I just love like having a watch on my wrist I think also obviously because I have like a wrist tattoo I feel like I just need something on this hand and it's like a watch just you know it just completes the look so i'm really loving watches but i'm just not obviously like educated on like the best watches quality watches but i'm liking the aesthetics of some of these and this fossil one i think is real cute um and it has that two-toned it has the two-tone aspect to it and i think it's bigger than the previous one and obviously the cartier one but i think this one would also look real cute on me i also put down a jewelry box as well um i put down a white jewelry box but this one you can really find anyway you can find it on obviously this one's from etsy but you can find it on um wayfair you can find it on amazon you can find it on i don't know but i feel like you can find this kind of like jewelry box anywhere but i feel like i need this because i feel like currently my jewelry is just thrown into like this bag and sometimes things get lost and it's just not cute it's not aesthetically pleasing so i feel like i need a nice box that i can keep safe and dear to my heart and that i can also travel with and don't have to worry about losing anything so i really do want like a nice jewelry box um when i do move out there like when i have like my own place and decorating my room i feel like the kind of jewelry box that i want i want a nice long wooden um top glass piece kind of jewelry box that like displays all my jewelry and yeah i'm just not gonna get that now because i share a room with my sister currently and the vibes <laughs> it's just not given so next section is bags and i feel like there's so many bags that i want like this was so hard to like just put down free bags because i feel like i'm gonna do like a whole different like wish list video for like luxury bags that i want because boy there's so many bags that i want and like it's like everlasting but I put on here some like affordable ish not really affordable but like on the cheaper side of like luxury bags like the jacques mousse and the Marc jacobs and the coach you know the first one is the jacques mousse le petit bambino shoulder bag and i want this in either a camel brown or a black i feel like it's kind of resembling the coach um pillow tabby um but jacques mousse style you know and i really like that i really really do like that and i can't decide whether i want it in the camel brown or the black but i really love both colors and like i feel like the black would be great for like everyday wear i really like them i don't know i don't know which one i'd go for but i really 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 love both colors um there's like a larger size in this as well and there's a lighter brown color that i really love and like i really want as well so it's like i really like the style of the um, jacques mousse bag i'm not like crazy about like their bambino bags but like these ones i could i could i i I mess with these. <laughs> Next one is the Marc Jacobs The Work Leather Tote Bag. So this um, has actually been on my wish list for a minute. Actually, the other one has been on my wish list for a minute, like the standard Marc Jacobs, um, the tote bag, like the one with the loud branding on the front. I feel like when it comes to like traveling and like my luggage collection, I feel like I need like a nice luggage collection that I'm gonna feel beautiful and, you know, comfortable traveling in. And I feel like the, I need, I feel like I need a tote bag in my obviously luggage um, collection. And I feel like this Marc Jacobs tote bag would fit perfectly with it. I feel like I'm going with this one rather than the original because i feel like this one is a lot more simpler i feel like with the other one i feel like the branding is like very loud and i feel like it's cute like when it first came out i thought it was super cute but i feel like now like everyone has it and it's like i don't know and like my friend my colleague was actually telling me how like there's so many like fakes like um that have come out because of tiktok and it's like yeah i feel like the branding is just very loud and as i've said many times like i'm more of like a simple babe and i kind of like the quieter tones of like luxury and um yeah i think this is like a really good alternative and it's cheaper um so yeah so that's why this one is on my wish list and yeah and then the next one is the coach originals um glover end 
swing a leather bag and i want this in the pink i think it's so cute in the pink like i love this little bag i feel like as a feminine girly like i really want like a nice luxury pink bag and i feel like this one is very affordable and it kind of does the trick i just love the shade of pink as well and again the branding is quite quiet if you didn't know coach or if you didn't know this if you hadn't seen this bag before or, you know you didn't know coach you wouldn't look at this bag and think oh my god that's a coach bag do you know what I mean? And I kind of like that about it. I like that it's kind of quiet on the branding and like it's not in your face. Do you know what I mean? So on to perfumes. Okay, so on my perfumes list, I've got the Penhaligon's Cairo, um, which is something that I've had on my wish list for a long time. Again, it's just been in my notes sitting there. I remember when there was like a whole Penhaligon's craze and everyone was like talking about it. I think when I traveled um, to like Dubai, I can't remember which airport it was, but I remember like spraying it and I remember liking it. I can't, cause it's been that long. I actually can't even remember what it smells like or whether I was like really in love with it, but it's just always been in my list, in my notes. And then the other one is the Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. So I currently do have this perfume, but it's literally running out on me. And this is like my perfect scent. Like I love this scent so much. When I went to like an outlet thing and I first smelt this scent, I felt in love. It was literally a love at first smell. I literally love this scent so much. I feel like it really represents me. I feel like it's really me. And I just really love that for me. Like I feel like I found my scent. Um, so I need to re-up on her ASAP. I feel like it's just very like fruity, fresh, but it's also quite strong and like, you know, it's a bit oody as well. Like I just love the smell. Like it's just a bit of me, do you know what I mean? And that goes the same for like the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle as well. Like that scent as well, a bit of me. Like I got gifted the Mademoiselle quite a while back, but they gave me like a travel set and I loved it. I was just wearing it every single day. Like it wasn't Coco Chanel, like what the hell? That ran out real quick. Um, so I need to re-up as well, but that the Coco Mademoiselle and the Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense like that is me in a bottle like I love those scents so much so and I've also got the Tom Ford Oud Wood on here because I've got the Ebony Wood I've got the Zara Ebony Wood and I feel like that's a dupe for the Tom Ford Oud Wood and amazing smell ebony wood amazing smell i've never really used to like it like that but i remember when i first started this job that i'm currently in like i was getting compliments back to back and i was like oh my gosh like y'all love this perfume like that like i i didn't even like mess with it like that so it was like quite shocking i feel like obviously the more compliments i got from it like the more i wanted to wear it so i kind of got used to the smell it's obviously really strong so like you know i have to kind of be like handed with it and then last but not least i've got an electronic on here and it's just some head some apple airpods max so i currently don't have um earphones headphones actually i do have earphones but it's like the wired ones and i feel like they don't give <laughs> i can obviously use them at home but like when i'm out running errands and like you know like i just don't feel like it's giving um the aesthetic that i want um so i really do want the airpods maxes i don't really like the airpods like i feel like the airpods are very inconvenient they're always falling out of the year they're always like you know breaking and getting lost and i just feel like they're just super inconvenient like the airpods are just so like i just feel like it was a silly idea um so i don't like the airpods and i don't really hang around with like the wired ones outside of the yard and i've always loved headphones like i used to have some beats by dre and i love those headphones so much like i had them for a very long time until like they started you know messing up on me like the sponge stuff of the ear would like come out and it was like i don't want to have to keep doing this so i kind of threw them away so i haven't had headphones since but i feel like i really need it especially if i plan on starting the gym anytime soon um obviously for my walks my errands like i feel like i really do need a good pair of headphones and i really want these i feel like these give you know the aesthetics i'm really an apple girly like i know i feel like the world's divided into like android versus apple and i'm just on the apple side unfortunately so that is all of the items on my wish list so i feel like that's actually not it i feel like my list is actually way bigger than this but for the sake of this video like i really had to cut it down so hopefully i kind of provided you guys with some ideas for yourself for you to put on your wish list for you to ask your boyfriends to buy you for you to ask your mommies and your daddies for presents like you know or for your own self like gifting yourself is always a vibe like you know treat yourself you know take care of yourself do you know what i mean so i'll list all the products like i said down below in the description box um so if you want to check them out do if you don't you don't um but yeah 
hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed because what are you doing um but thank you so much for watching this video especially if you stuck with me till the end i love you and i appreciate you and hopefully i'll see you here again ciao